Hello, 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 here we are, another stream, Life is Strange. I've been uh, absent yesterday, I had a very busy day, and I quit it very early last Tuesday because I was really tired and I couldn't finish the stream or finish the episode. So, um, now that I got some more rest and uh, a very... Um, well, not busy day tomorrow. I can maybe do one and a half episode today. No further promises, but we'll see how it goes. Let's first bring up my chat because I want to talk to you lovely people. I want to see you. Who is coming in and respond, of course. So, yes, here we go. Chat is up. Stream is up. Well, let's continue. At least my mic is now on. Now it is. Let's take a look at the pictures we need to take. We missed the bird, the wheels later on. Let's see what we can take here. For those who are just lurking, not chatting, welcome. I hope you enjoy. At least I do. Hey, Max. Um, feel free to say you? hi. Oh, hi, I won't Mr. Bite. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird, just. Being on campus, like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll oh, be yeah. able to celebrate. The Vortex no, Club party. Didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So. You don't hate me for what I said to the principal. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody <laughs> should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. <laughs> I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Pot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. No. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. <laughs> Look at that sketch you did of me. What a way to Incredible. motivate him. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have oh, a nice good. talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better. 
and gets justice. justice I hear that case. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. <laughs> by the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, but uh, I try to <laughs> stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... <laughs> no, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Justin. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too... I already took this picture, I guess. Can do it again. One photo for posterity. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max- Hey Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. No one can. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Meow. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. <laughs> I saw Nathan pissed and walking Ouch. off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I don't want that date. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. That's so ironic. Hey, bro. I'm here. I need. That's so ironic. Like I don't own all the original. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. She's being bitchy. Uh, Talk to I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, mm -hmm. it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It was. Samuel, you were the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. 
She will. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. Whoa. You really don't like Nathan. How come? Samuel likes everybody. Until they give him a reason not to. He did. Well, okay. Enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell's secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. Do you do ever then. talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. So sad. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are... Connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. <laughs> Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. <laughs> Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real, my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, get that food in your belly. As Michelle Grant, I think this was a photo up too. I'm not sure. I'm scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Yeah, there we go. Range finder. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. <laughs> Even though Miss Grant likes me. I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. How do you know that? I'm genuinely curious. You just have to open your eyes. Then you can see what's coming. I do not That's like the sound of that. Something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? 
she'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Reminds me of a uh, Rolling Stones song. Samuel misses. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't oh, sign. Oh, come on. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation. Let's hope right? there is. When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, Maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. <laughs> I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. True. I was looking for Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. Just study partners. I can't believe he does have friends. That depends what your definition is. But I'd like to see more friendships at Blackwell, less bullying, especially after this week. Mm -hmm. Me too, Miss Grant. Mm -hmm. Amen, sister. So, you don't know where Nathan <clears throat> is? I saw him sulking off campus earlier. But you look like you have more on your mind than a question. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. Yep. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. Amen. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you'll know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. Still I hear can you, be. Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you hmm. truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Let's talk again soon, Max. Sure.
coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. <laughs> Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now Bad I just night. have to find Nathan's room. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Nope. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. <laughs> Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go Abe. And <laughs> sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. I hope Warren doesn't think that's too dorky. I mean, not like he isn't. He'll laugh, right? Yeah, he will. This can only be Nathan's room. True dot. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or I really hope they were all consenting models. That is so Chloe. Oh my God, Chloe, oh, Chloe. Wow. 
whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Mm -hmm. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Let's hope he does. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. Well, when your family has I money. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome and far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. That's I'd cry too if I problem. had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? They can be good. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? It's Nothing good. <laughs> Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. 
Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Get off me, bro! Lauren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go, now! Plus, my dad is on his way! You're all fucked! He owns you! Little shit. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Hey, Darkness, welcome in. Yeah, it went okay. Um, I had to go physically, but since I was really tired, I'll, I, I've mailed him to change it to a phone appointment. And he didn't saw the point in that, so he called me up and said, well, we're going to make a new appointment. I was like, well, couldn't you just email me about that? But apparently not. I'm gonna lurk while I play some DBD. I will be back soon. Sure. Enjoy. I guess that's Dragon Ball or something like that, or am I mistaken? Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was. No, I'm going to stop worrying. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go! Damn, that was intense. Yes, it was. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Um, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And Closer Nathan, than you think. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Let's pay him off. Was there a picture about the RV in this one, or did I already pass that? 
Oh, let's just see. We we'll clean up that anyhow. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. If um, my memory serves me correctly, I can walk on the beach for a little bit and make a picture of the whale. Nope, I don't want to go there. I'll move more towards the whale and at least do something about that. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. No worries, sign. <laughs> I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. There we go. It was that whale. There was a picture of a whale. Dioptric power. Um, yeah, got the whale. It blows one. my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Tinted low. Take the trash out sometime, mm -hmm. dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Wonder twins. You should have come along. One boy wonder. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Oh, I got such a big clue right now. <laughs> oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? 
How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Ah, oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. <laughs> Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. <laughs> we're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the ones who let him out? You broke in here and let my dog out? What the fuck? Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Set the fuck back now! Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! That's not what was supposed to happen. I just shot a man, and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. No, that's not how it's going to end. Frank is going to stay alive. Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast.
Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh! <laughs> Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Just a little Yeah, bit. yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am... Finally, I believe you. I... I try not to. D dude, she was scared, all right? We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. <laughs> That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadour. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my play, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> Rewind again. We'll find the right conversation. <laughs> I need to hit this rewind or cancel. Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or Thank how you. you used to be. <clears throat> Oh, I 
thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? <coughs> and let's not do any more business again. Sure. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? No. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... Finally. I... I try not to. D dude, she was scared all... We're cool for now, but my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have to. Of course I do. I heard you. No, all right, it was just. That's very cool, Frank. Maybe we can focus on rescue. Rachel, is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so... You and Chloe do not... Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, Fine. thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Because when I started playing, I already said that was we're going cool. to take. Gave up the code to help us. We're going to take the good Rachel way. Rachel must have seen something good in him. And now we're going to be super nosy in Chloe's room. And make that puzzle complete. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. 
Let's figure out the puzzle. I'd better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Or is there a way we could... No, we can't go into balance. Oh, Seriously. We gave Frank our number. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. This makes no sense, Max. Game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Yes, Tell give us, us everything. everything. Roger that. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Okay, yeah. Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Rottweiler is Nathan. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Looks like this is not relevant at all. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. No, what bother? Let's if see. Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. David's clues. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. I must have missed something. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Yes, we will. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Hmm. Huh. Who does this car belong to? Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. That's definitely Chloe's car. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Yep, another car David was tracking. Huh. 
Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Last clues. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers are so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's do this. Let's start hacking. August 29, 1995. Oops, bad code. Hey Darkness, welcome back. What was that game you were playing? Is some kind of Dragon Ball kind of thing? 9535, should that be the one? Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. 9535. You locked it, dumbass. Eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. Eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. Find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Oh, Dead by Daylight. Ah, okay. Yeah, I know that one. It's a multiplayer game where there are four survivors, one killer. I was playing as a survivor. Yeah, it has. Uh, it has the one. That's the one with the power supplies and uh, stuff. And when the kill's getting done, you see a little small picture in picture where the killer is. What the killer is doing. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I, I've seen um, Shin Dark Shadow, a fellow Dutch streamer, which I follow he and have contact have with. Uh, I've played uh, play it a lot of times. He switched over now on speedrunning Sonic games. I need score to make hostile of a car. No time to charge me double. Then I have cash. 
drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. I might fall asleep soon though, so if I stop talking, that's why. Uh, no problem. If you need rest, you need rest. I mean, I'm, I don't want to keep you up. Um, if you gotta go, you gotta go. It's that easy. October 1 and October 5. That's October 7. October 4. Yeah, I was really tired today. No problem. Again, if you need rest, you need rest. That's it's that easy. I don't want to keep you up longer than uh, necessary. Looks like this is not relevant at all. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. That has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor Rick. Not much out there. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Those clues are not related. Since Kate left the party early with Nathan, I should search for texts, locations, and transactions in the evening. Mm. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. I'm going to look this up. It takes so long. I kind of know what I need, but for some reason I just can't see it.
I know this is not the right way to do it, but I want to continue. This is not working. Mm. Max, just match the right text message with the right account. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. That's it. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Yeah, that's where you need to be. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Of course, the Prescott's do. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. Sad but true. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Always be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Good girl. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Somebody run all that electricity into an old empty bar. Hey, pretty bird. <clears throat> That's another one. Fish eye. Ah. That's the one. door come on oh yes maximus rules of course i do god this is 
way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. This tractor has paid its dues. Hey, yes, it has. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. <laughs> huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. <laughs> She has a rich fantasy. Oh, wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Home on the range. Old. Yeah, let's follow those tracks. See what they'll okay. lead to. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Jesus. Bastards. Uh, what did I need to do? Lots of info here. Chloe would make a great detective, too. I need to get up here. But I need to... Uh, ground. Search it. Searching again. Just rotting wood. There is so much more here than just rotting wood. <sighs> Nothing here. Damn, lots of info here. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Do you think so? I beg to differ. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Bingo. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Huff, huff and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <laughs> I 
guess you do. I bet you do. No, not go. Ah. Get up there, giddy up. photo up. Manually exposed. There we go. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Ah, uh, what was the way again to pull this off? Here's the other end of the rope. Oh, wait, that has to go. I have to release that over here. I should not create. Ah, oh, the good old days. True. Okay, rewind. There we go. Chloe, no, give me that hand. Give me a hand. Sidekick at your service. Minions are great. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Now let's pull that one. And now we can get that rope off because we haven't uh, attached the other side of it to the padlock. So now I should be able to... Here's the other end of the rope. Hey Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. <laughs> I will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Oh, wait, yeah. Have to touch it to that thing. And then kick it down. <laughs> At 
There we go. Oh, so that didn't work at all. Wait, wasn't that the... No, Max. Try again. Uh... Ah, yeah, wait. I don't know exactly how to do it. Get up there. Attach the rope. Make sure Chloe attaches the rope down there. Hey, Chloe. And that's it. Now it should be opening. There we go. Max Giver strikes again. <clears throat> Damn, this is heavy. Yes, it is. to say how weird this is he just did who built this kind of place a press god of course this bunker is so surreal First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oops, bad code. Oh no, it didn't work. code. Okay, so it's locked. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Three digit code has to be something about those papers. If I'm not mistaken, Taken. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Where was that letter again? I 
I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. This tractor has paid its dues. serious door. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. You can do it, Max. Think, think. Yes! There we go. I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Chilling in this room. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. With the Prescott's and creepy art. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Sure looks like it. So who's using this fancy tripod? I know who. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Son of a bitch. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Keep searching, Chloe. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Only one place where we can look. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan 
paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Let's leave this creepy place. Now. Chills all over my spine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It gets me again. The only difference was I knew this was going to happen. Vortex Club Party. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that.
Shit! This is like that eclipse! You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky! Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella, that's what they're- uh, Hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. <clears throat> Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should, I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So Good why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that, I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. The DJ wearing a t-shirt color with fate on it.
We need to find Nathan and take him down. There we go. Tripod. Something with footsteps and escape. Someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find <laughs> Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Dan. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise. And kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Super max, max, fly. max, super max. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, but so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, so uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Or I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. <laughs> Sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires. Amen, to brother. Amen. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out to or into Penn State. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Reach it, brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. Bigfoot on otter action. <laughs> Angel 
Marshall has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. I'm surprised to see you here. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. I think Rachel Amber would agree. I didn't know her, but I hope she's safe and sound. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to you Sadly, later, that is Max, not the case. Maybe you should go crash. You had a tough week too with Kate. Plus having to save my ass all the time. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke. Don't frick. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that nice? You and me both. Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Then. Hey Courtney, how are you? Max, our guests are arrived fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye. Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Thank you.
Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Is it me? A bomb. Give me a break. I am so wasted. What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Supermax here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some... Dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No. I want to find me. <laughs> me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and... Take no, a quick no quick hit. Hayden, does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. <coughs> Is that you, Max? You look all fuzzy. Wow, I'm dead. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. Very powerful. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Uh, did Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that food for me. Uh, no. You see Nathan. I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. He should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see him? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoot's game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Break. You Makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Yay, Max! I can't believe you 
showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Preston? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame her. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. More than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria. But I don't understand you. Nobody that does. Makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what? I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play there. Look at me. I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. No, you don't. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon -esque. Then, I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. Glitch. He did throw the kid at that party so he could take her so dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. 
You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Lockwell. Weird, but you just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Here she is. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. <clears throat> oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Should be right about an end, though. I mean. I've been playing this chapter for three hours now. Oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. 
We have to go to the junkyard right now. I think this is where the episode concludes. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. I will get your revenge. I swear. Do you see him up there, Max? Hold on. Dude, don't leave me behind. I'm sorry, Rachel. Max, stay close so we can be a team. Max, slow down. Maybe we should have called the police. <laughs> Chloe, come over here, quick. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! No. Glory. That's not Nathan. room let's see how we did we ref refused to kill her stop Warren no one got hurt Victoria believes your warning Didn't disturb the bird's nest because we didn't took any picture. Another way, K 
to help you. This room. You move it down to attend the Vortex Club party. We left a message on Warren Slade, you feel. And we help Alyssa. Cool. downstairs I guess that's where we need to find a bird and a nest and make a picture of it won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just. One picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. <laughs> That's one. Time lapsed. Cool. Yes, we can return. So it's for collectible mode. Dormitories collected. Boy, dormitories. What did we miss then? Skateboard or the footsteps? I so guess lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Yeah, I had a little bit of an H. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana.
Oh, you Bigfoots. Jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Uh, uh, Every sense. photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. There we go. A gamma value. And that leaves only one left. For the entire episode. Where can we find that last one? Pool party. So I guess here's where we'll find that um, dummy with the skateboard. Nathan and take him down. Some kind of dream nightmare. only okay sorry but i'm on the list okay i know that max caulfield is not on any list for the vortex club nice try listen no you listen courtney is supposed to be the vip gatekeeper not me so please go i need to find a way to enter this bullshit club And that guy with the skateboard should be there, yeah, right? Hey, Courtney, how are 
you. Max, our guests are arrived fashionably late. And otherwise I have to look it up where it is. Yeah, I get it. Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just. Uh, oh my God, you're done, and you're off bye bye. The list permanently. Welcome to the vortex. Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Monkeys dance for the Prescotts. They own you. I guess I have to look this one up because I don't know it yet. One moment. Got the beach ring. Got the bird, got the owl. Uh huh. Okay. I know where I need to go, but I wonder if I. Come on, my phone is fucking with me. Um, it looks like I have to be at the first part of the swimming pool. And I don't know if I can get there at the part where I am right now. So let's check it out. Can I go back? Yes, can go back. That's the one, and this is what I was uh, talking with. Um, what are you doing in here? Uh, if I get sick now, I'm um, not 
put ash about Still, this was the this one i was looking at when we were hiding in the pool but now we got them all slideshow and that gives us shutterbug so that's episode four done completely including the photographs uh which has only um leaves us with episode five and that's something for another stream because um right now it's uh been enough for today uh i don't know if i'm going to be here tomorrow definitely not on saturday maybe sunday um uh, but always in the evening always from 7 8 p.m my time uh, I want to thank you now, uh, everyone, for watching. I hope you had, uh, uh, had some fun. I had. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.